would show you how I came about my total knee replacement. I'm sure you're going to find this very interesting. This was my knee before my total knee replacement. Pretty bad, huh? If your knee is severely damaged and it's hard for you to do the simplest things like walking, going upstairs uh, without any pain, you may want to check out having a total knee replacement. It took me several years to decide that knee replacement was the best option for me. I am an active person and love to walk. I started having a lot of pain in my knee and a lot of swelling, as you can see. I started wearing knee supports. I did physical therapy, cortisone shots, and gel shots. The orthopedic doctors took x-rays and told me my knee was bone on bone and that I should be limited to walking only to stop the swelling. That's when I decided I need to do something. My only option was a total knee replacement. Unlike a partial knee replacement, which involves replacing only a section of the joint, a total knee replacement involves the removal of the entire joint. Once I spoke with my surgeon about my options and decided that the surgery was the best thing for me, I started to prepare myself several months in advance. Because I wanted my insurance to cover my surgery and the therapy and planned on taking time off from work, I was able to coordinate the approximate date to have my surgery done with the surgeon's office. I didn't have the availability to take short-term disability, but uh, it might be an option for you if you needed to do the surgery. So I found a good time to plan my surgery was the spring. This way, my recovery of several weeks was going to be during nice weather. Having it done in the winter, I believe would have been more difficult because of the cold weather. Prior to the surgery, I had to get clearance from my primary physician and heart doctor along with blood work. I was told by the surgeons that if I go into surgery with a strong leg, it will help in recovery with physical therapy. So I followed the surgeon and physical therapist suggestions on exercise and I started to strengthen my leg. Once I set the date for my surgery, I made sure I had the help at home I needed for recovery. These are some of my helpers. In most cases, you will be able to go home two days after surgery. Setting up your home and care team are very important. I set a bed up in, on the first floor to eliminate stairs, and I made sure the bathroom was easy accessible. I even lined up a walker and a cane to use after surgery. I borrowed a walker and cane. However, your insurance may supply a walker. Otherwise, you can borrow one. Your local senior center may have one for you to use. The cane will come in handy to stabilize yourself when, you're, when you don't ha use the walker. Other helpful things are to stock up on your toiletries. And you may even want to pick up a rubber mat for the shower so you will prevent slipping. Even a shower chair, that can be helpful. A raised toilet seat as well. Um, I also recommend having a notepad to write down all your meds so you can calculate when to take them and when they are due, or just use your cell phone as an alarm. My surgeon's office had me attend a pre-op education class that was held at the hospital, and this explains everything that you have to do before the surgery, what happens during the surgery, and the recovery. I was also given a brochure with all the instructions in it to follow. Another item I would like to suggest, um, purchasing a cryo cuff. You can purchase it on Amazon for about $130. This will help with your icing of your knee. It's truly a must have, in my opinion. This eliminates ice packs. With the cryo cuff, all you need is two bottles of water, you put them in the freezer, and then you put the bottles inside of the cryo cuff cooler, add water, and you have an ice pack instantly to wrap around your knee. Another great item I found, found very useful was a CPM machine, a continuous passive motion machine. This device is used to bend and extend your knee joint after surgery. I had asked my surgeon about it before I went in and he said insurances don't cover it. However, if you're in the hospital and you ask for it, it's possible that you might be able to get it through your insurance. I found it very helpful and it, I was able to rent it at home for a couple weeks as well. About three weeks prior to the surgery, I received a letter from my surgeon's office. This was to schedule lab work, uh, physical exam, and medical clearance. 
At this time, they even scheduled my education class to be attended at the hospital. I was also given a prescription to pick up a walker. This walker was to come with me the day of the surgery. I also was told I had to stop all my anti-inflammatory medications and blood thinners 10 days prior to surgery. So be sure to follow up with your doctor's orders. Well, I guess I look like I'm ready. I had to fast the night before. No food or drink after midnight the day before my surgery, not even water. The meds I normally take in the morning were given to me at the hospital in the morning. The day of the surgery, I wore comfy clothing, no makeup, no nail polish, no jewelry. They want to be able to see your circulation through your fingernails and they don't want you to have any jewelry obstructions on you. Wedding bands, body piercings, nothing. A very important thing is to be careful not to get any cuts or injuries prior to your surgery. This may delay your surgery date. Avoiding any infections is a must. The night before the surgery, I had to take a nice clean shower and then the, the morning of the surgery, I was given an antibacterial wash that I had to wash over my entire body, concentrating on the knee area where this incision was going to be. Then I had to rinse very thoroughly and dry myself off with a clean towel and put clean clothing on. It was very important to be clean when you go in. Okay, the last thing is to bring a list of your medication to the hospital and any other information that your surgeon has requested. Now I was ready. I've been waiting for this. They gave me a nerve block and anesthesia prior to surgery. The nerve block helps numb my thigh all the way down to my knee. My surgery took approximately one and a half to two hours. With all the prep before surgery, the recovery, um, it took approximately four hours to get back up into my room. My surgery went very well. The nurses were right on top of the pain meds to help control the pain. Be sure to follow their advice. It makes life a lot easier when you take the meds. I had family members visiting me in the afternoon. It was great to see everyone. The nurses and therapists had me up and walking that same day. Physical therapist took me to the gym and worked on motion exercises and stairs and prepped me for discharge. When I was discharged, I was told within 24 to 48, 48 hours, I would have somebody in touch with me for home health care. They would check my dressing and check the incision as, as well. I hope you found this information helpful. Stay tuned for part two of me coming home and recovering.